Welcome to the project demonstration of advanced blind stick along with obstacle detection and tracking. So here the main purpose of this project is whenever the blind person is traveling with a stick. So generally we have already seen a uh, many kind of projects to detect the obstacles and announce the buzzer or voice announcement. But in this project we have added the uh, tracking system also to know that where the blind person is currently located just by sending a SMS to this SIM card which is inserted in this project. So from there directly we can uh, get the location link into our phone. So if you have the smartphone directly the location uh, map link will be given to you. Just click on that link we can track the blind person and directly on the Google Maps. So here coming to this connections. So we are uh, using ultrasonic sensor that is SR04 model. So which will uh, use it to detect the obstacles. So means it will measure the obstacle in front of each so based on the radar concept so here one thing is uh, this one is a receiver module and this one is a transmitter module T and R so the transmitter will transmit the ultrasonic waves and whenever the obstacle uh, is in front of these two modules then the reflected ultrasonic waves will be received by this receiver module and uh, the ultrasonic waves is traveling with the sound speed and the time between the transmitting and receiving captured by the microcontroller and so that we will get the distance of the object and then if the particular uh, object distance is less than 30 centimeters then we are going to on the buzzer along with the uh, visual alerts on this LCD screen so this is the one way of operation and another way is parallelly we can track this particular person those have this blind stick just by sending W R U all are small letters so then the system will receive the message and give the same message to the or pick microcontroller so we are using pick 18 f 452 microcontroller so and then it will decode the information so already we have given instructions that if you get the message of WRU then we need to reply to the same number with latitude longitude values which are received by this GPS module from the GPS to the microcontroller and arrange the latitude and values in a Google map link and it will reply back to your phone so just if you have a smartphone as we described just click on the link it will be redirected to the Google Maps and it will show you the point location so here before switching on this cage we need to insert a valid sim card into this GSM modem so which we are using sim 800 which is a quad band and uh, the particular sim should be Airtel VI BSNL other than geo and it should have the validity and it should have the sms balance or main balance means it's uh, it has to send the messages and then after inserting the sim card just give the power supply so here one more thing first point is remember clearly i'm repeating insert a valid sim card then give the power supply and hold this switch so here one light is the green light it will bring one second of duration fast now hold the switch and once it slow down right now it slow down means nothing but the GAP GSM got the signal from the uh, from the tower so then only we need to allow the microcontroller to communicate with the particular sim card or particular GSM so why because so if the microcontroller allowed before getting the signal those commands are used to send or receive the message will not be executed properly inside the GSM then we'll get the mesh we may get the issue while receiving and sending sms from the cage and then after release the switch after got the signal receive the uh, release the switch then there will be a welcome message on your lcd screen along with obstacle detection also sorry obstacle uh, distance right now the obstacle distance is 180 centimeter 168 centimeters and light length values here one more thing the light blinking on the gps so it's indicating the GPS receiver got the satellite signal so must and should while demonstrating this project we should place the kit under sunlight sorry under sky view sky view then only the satellite can send the PVT this position velocity time to the GPS and it will transmit the same information to our microcontroller so I'm repeating we should demonstrate this project under the sky view only then only we will get the GPS signal. If we demonstrate this indoor, the particular light will not blink and will not get the signal. And then 
see now when I am placing my hand then automatically if it is less than 30 centimeters you will get the buzzer alert as well as on the obstacle alert will be displayed of course the LCD is not required for the blind person for demonstration easily and troubleshooting purpose we place the LCD in our project only for that purpose in real time there is no need of LCD now we can see the live location latitude and values and now I want to track the blind person where he is now just sending SMS to the SIM card and the message format as we mentioned WRU ok and send the message so after sending the message on the LCD we can see the message received by this kit and it will display the phone number right we got the message and so we will get the reply also as now uh, did you unab unable to uh, get the new smartphone so now here sorry so now just I am demonstrating the project with normal basic phone instead of smartphone so don't have feasibility to get that now so because I am taking the video from that phone only right so now I am located at this is the total link if you place this link in real time uh, google maps directly will get the location or else if you have the smartphone just click on that directly it will redirect to the google maps here coming to this motherboard so this one is the reset switch just when you press this only the kit will be restart as we did the same thing initially and this one is a program LED program sorry this is the power LED indication it will indicate the power on this motherboard and these 5 pins are programming pins from these pins only we are going to load the X file into this microcontroller and this steel plated one is crystal oscillator it will provide the clock pulse to the microcontroller and next coming to this buzzer board so there will be a transistor because microcontroller will can't on the buzzer directly because the buzzer need more current voltage is 5 volts though but it need more current so instead of, uh, to provide the more current just we are making use of one BC547 transistor the microcontroller will switch on the transistor and the transistor will switch on the buzzer right ok I mean the obstacle detected right click the buzzer alerts thank you